we're going to use a single image for all the background images on the site. This trash can and its hover version. The profile pic. We've got a logged in version here. And if I select log out, you'll see a grey logged out version. This add me to favourites icon and that changes colour slightly when we mouse over it. And if we remove an item from the favourites, we're going to drag it to the trash can. And we see that the favourites icon is replaced with a little tick, a success icon. If we go to the admin pages, we mouse over the insert delete column. And you see we have two versions of the delete icon. And we also down here, where we're going to insert data, we have two versions of the insert icon. The only thing that we can't do is if we, for instance, insert a new user, then we have a little loader icon that briefly appeared there. And on the main page, when we add or remove something, you see we get a loader icon. And we can't do that because it's an animated GIF, and that can't go into the PNG file that we're going to be using for everything else. So this method of making background images by enclosing them all in one bigger image is called a CSS sprite. CSS sprites, we use one image and we display just the right bits of it in the right places by showing the particular bit that we want. I'll show you what it looks like. This is the CSS sprite that we'll be making. And you can see we've got all those images in one image file. And we extend this technique of positioning it, changing its background position, so that different parts of the image appear when the mouse hovers over a particular element. So the advantages of this are that only one image is loaded, and it's then reused throughout the whole site, rather than loading lots and lots of smaller images. So there's no delay waiting for the hover state to appear. That's one thing. And it also reduces the number of HTTP requests to the server. And this speeds up page loads. You can read more about CSS sprites at csstricks.com, and I've put in a link in the bookmarks file to that article. Now I'm going to show you how to make a CSS sprite out of individual images using an online sprite generator, and how this makes the CSS for you automatically that you need to shift the background position of the image around. But the process is a bit fiddly. So I'm going to give you the final code in a prepared sprite, and I think it might be easier, really, if you use that. So go to the working files. Chapter 5, 0512, Creating Background Images with a CSS Sprite. And if you go to the Individual Images folder, you'll find all these little background images that we need. In your browser, navigate to spritepad.wearekiss.com This online sprite generator allows you to drag your images onto the sprite pad and it gives you the CSS for them at the same time automatically. Each one's going to have a negative position associated with it because it moves the rest of the sprite so that only the correct portion of it is seen for each particular location. So you can see this in action. Drag your images onto the sprite pad, position them neatly, and you can see the CSS being generated over on the right. So you can go on like this, position them one pixel apart, obviously they mustn't overlap, but you want minimum amount of space. You want to try and place them one pixel apart because we want the final image to be as small as possible. That makes it quicker to load. Doesn't matter too much for this size of Sprite, Sprites, so there we are, we can go on dragging like this and then organize them. Some sites use massive um, CSS sprites with literally hundreds and hundreds of little images in them. So you can see how to do that, and you want to have them neatly arranged. So that's the principle. If you want to, you can go on and make your own sprite, which will be a bit different from mine. And when you've positioned all the images neatly on the sprite pad, you click on, not like this, you click on download, and then you'll get a zip file with a funny name, 
and you save that, and that contains your CSS file and the finished sprite. So back in the working files in the folder called Sprites, I've got the download that I generated called SpritePad Download.zip. So in the working files, 0512, go to the images folder and they will find my finished sprite, sprites.png. Right click on this and copy it. Go to favorite movies and make a new folder called images. Go inside that and paste in sprites.png. Now, in the working files, go into the CSS folder and open up sprites.css in Komodo Edit. And you'll see that we have a long list of classes, all of which have the same background image, sprites.png in the images folder. And they're all set to no repeat for that image. And if you scroll down, you'll find that we're applying different background positions according to, for instance, here, zero and zero. And then for the hover version of the trash can, um, we move it minus 61 pixels up. And that goes on and it's pretty repetitive and quite a lot of typing. So I thought it was best to spare you that typing. Go to the edit menu, edit, select all and copy that, and then go back to htdocs CSS folder, open up style.css, and then I think just above the styles for the footer, paste in everything that you've just selected. And save that. We also need to go back to the working files, and select the HTML files. I'll show you why we've got, to, we've got to replace them again. I'll show you why, it's very simple. It's just here, we need two divs for profile, for the profile picture and the admin button. That's this profile picture here and this little arrow here. That's what we're applying. So you can either copy that and paste it into the right place or go to the working files Select the three HTML files and say copy. Go back to favorite movies, paste, copy and replace, and there we are. And finally, let's open these up in Firefox. And there we are. We've got our image. We've got the favorites image changing and the trash can changing as we want. Let's open up admin. Have a look at admin.html. So I put in the delete icon there. We could if we wanted to here in new data row, add in div class equals insert. Take out the word insert, and then we can see the two versions of the insert icon. We can also do success above here, just for the moment. And take out the word delete there. And there we are, we can see the three different images. And open up movie single.html and that's fine as well.